Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Thank you for joining me once again. I'm very delighted to, to welcome you once again to my channel. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to look at an interesting area of analysis of business decision. And one area that we're going to look at is going to be the transportation model or referred to as transportation problem. When we talk about transportation problem in business decision making, that's to do with how do we solve the problem of shipping or distributing of uh, goods from one location to another, from a source location to a destination location. From a, demand, from a supply point to a demand point. So it may be from maybe plant, production plant to the warehouse. It can be from a production point to where the products are to be delivered or to be distributed. So in looking at the transposition model, um, there are certain things that are important to be there for you to, be able to solve the problem. One is that you have to have the volume of goods that needs to be distributed from one point to the other or and also you ought to have the volume of goods that are demanded from the demand points. Then thirdly you need to have the cost of transporting the goods from one location to each of the uh, different points that are needed. So when these conditions are met, then you'll be able to solve problem, uh, you will solve transposition problem. Uh, another thing I need to point out to you is that in dealing with transposition problem, there are um, basically three methods. One, we have the northwest corner method. Two, we have the least uh, cost cell method, then we have the Vogel approximation uh, method. We are going to look at these methods one after the other in subsequent videos. In today's video, we are going to take one of the examples in looking at um, introducing you to the Northwest Corner method. When we solve this problem, we'll do other ones then we can pick this same problem and use it for the least cost sell method. When we use it, they will now compare what we have in terms of whether how much cost we are saving and as well use it for the Vogel approximation method. So you can, in an exam situation, you may be asked to use these three methods for a single problem and decide which of these methods you will least reduce your cost of transporting your product from one point to the other. The whole idea of this transition model is seeing how costs can be further reduced in terms of distributing your goods from the source point to the destination point. Now, after we have used these methods, the Northwest Corner method, we have used the least cost method, as well as the Vogel. Somehow we also need to learn how to get optimality of these methods. And in doing that, I will be introducing you later in some other video on using the stepping stone corner method, the stepping stone method, I beg your pardon, the stepping stone method, our the modified distribution method called the Modi transposition model. So I want to welcome you once again to this um, channel. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel, like this video, but 